welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a swatch party video on the new Violet Voss hashtag palette. This thing is so exciting. I actually picked this one up from the Sephora website and Violet Voss is being sold on Sephora.com. If you had not got the memo yet, definitely awesome to see more indie brands on Sephora's website. Plus, Sephora has an awesome return policy. Plus, if you don't want to pay a full price for this guy, you can just wait until the next Sephora sale, which will be in April, which I don't feel like is too far away. If you if you really think about it, it's not that far away. So anyway, I have no patience and I picked this up, so let's get into some swatches. Also guys, really quick, if you are new to my channel, welcome, my name is Karen Harris Makeup. I do upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me. I do urge that you subscribe because if you're here for a swatch video, I will definitely have a review video coming up for your favorite palettes. So definitely subscribe because then you'll get notified when I upload a new video and I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and start swatching on this guy. Okay, so I actually have almost all the Violet Voss eyeshadow palettes. It was one of those brands that some of my YouTube friends like recommended I check out. And of course in 2017, I went nuts and bought pretty much all of them. So I have Laura Lee palette, The Ride or Die, Mad About You, and uh, the Holy Grail palette. I didn't buy the Nicole Concilio one because I was like, okay, I'm not even using the palettes I have, so I need to stop. And then I also missed out on the Rainbow palette, but I'm not really into super bright, all shimmery eyeshadow palettes anyway. So this was an exciting purchase though. So on the first row here, we have a bunch of mattes and then the rest are pretty much all shimmers. And I think basically if you're trying to decide between this and the Holy Grail, you know, think of what colors you like the most. I'm actually wearing this palette on my eyeballs today. I filmed a Get Ready With Me featuring some new products. So if that's up before this, I will link it up in the cards. Otherwise, again, subscribe so you can keep up. Let's go ahead and swatch though because I feel like I'm talking a lot. So let me swatch the matte colors first. And here they are. You always need some mattes, some basic matte shades to start off any eyeshadow look. That's my opinion. These are swatching pretty light, but I think for the most part it's going to do the job. So we have Fresh, we have Sauce, we have Savage, we have G-O-A-T. Is that an acronym for something? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. And then we have Illy, which is the black shade. You guys, I swear, I'm, I, <laughs> I just turned 29 and I'm, some days I'm just like, what's going to happen to all the older YouTubers out there? Like... What's going to happen when they someday stop being relevant? I'm not too worried about it myself because this isn't my full-time job, but I'm like, you know, one day Jaclyn Hill is going to be a wrinkly old lady and I really don't know if she's going to be on YouTube anymore. So kind of funny. I don't know why I thought about that. So next row is definitely like the yellowish row and it has a nice gradient. So you do get some really fun shades. Here they are, swatch on my fingers. We have Truth, Lady Boss, No Filter, Throwback, and Lit. So you gotta love all the social media references in the names. These are definitely chunky, but you can definitely blend them out. These shades are all meshing together because of how I swatched them. Sorry about that. So again, we have Truth, Lady Boss, No Filter, Throwback, and Lit. So hopefully you guys can see those gorgeous shades. I am just such a fan of the goals. <laughs> you guys, you know me, I love a good warm tone eyeshadow and uh, just a little bit of matte, but I love shimmer on my lid. So that is how I roll. And then the next shades are definitely those like warm orange shades. And there is one matte shade in this row as well. And that shade is Goals. We have Vicky, Goals, FOMO, Low Key, and Living. In case you guys didn't know, I do know what FOMO means. It's fear of missing out, which I have all the time when it comes to makeup. I feel like this row reminds me of the Dose of Colors Siennas that like, it was some like sizzling sexy Siennas or something because that comes with five shades. But those are all mattes. These are stunning. I really love this row, but I feel like if I pulled out my Holy Grail palette right now, there would be these exact same shades 
in the Holy Grail palette from Violet Voss. So that's the thing about Violet Voss is I feel like they did a lot of eyeshadow palettes with a lot of very similar colors. So I was definitely hesitant on this palette. I think a huge motivator for me buying this palette was that I could get it on Sephora and so if I don't like it I can return it. But that's one of my like makeup resolutions for 2018 is to not just buy a palette because I know I can return it. It's kind of a bad habit that I have because I am an eyeshadow palette junkie so I do want to try them all out. But sometimes I feel like, like currently I have so many eyeshadow palettes I need to test that I can't give each one enough attention. So my really huge goal for 2018 is to only buy four eyeshadow palettes a month, which gives me a week for each palette. And right now it's just like, I'm so bad. I just bought the new Beauty Bakery palette, the Graham Cracker or something. It just looks so cool and I was like, give it to me. So I keep buying all these like eyeshadow palettes because I'm so intrigued by them. But one of my goals for 2018 is to just buy what really catches my attention and not just because I know that there's a good return policy on the palette. So this is the last row and this is the one I feel like everyone's gonna buy this palette for is the purples. And honestly guys, I feel like with this palette you could replace almost all those dose of colors palettes but these last two rows are really speaking to me this purpley row has a gorgeous duochrome shade it's actually the shade i'm wearing on my eyes called relevant so we have sunset which is a beautiful matte we have relevant we have throwback thursday which is again another beautiful like purple matte and then we have petty af which is petty as fuck and then life is this last beautiful like neon shade so I definitely used all the mattes in this eye look and then I used relevant on my lid so I'm loving this palette so far I do love the Violet Voss formula but so far I think it's going to be a really fun addition to my eyeshadow palette collection so let me just show you guys the palette one more time I definitely think that last row is the one that really makes this palette unique. Yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this palette. Did you buy it? Are you planning on buying it? Are you planning on skipping? Are you so overwhelmed with all the eyeshadow palettes that are coming out for the holidays that you're just completely passing all of them by? Have you heard of Violet Moss? Definitely check out some of my videos. I definitely have like a review for the Ride or Die palette, which is their big, big palette. And again, you can get that on Sephora as well. So they are doing so well. I'm so excited to keep playing with this palette. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.